I'm Mads Bertelsen. Uh, I work at the ESS, the European Spallation Source, at the Data Management and Software Center in Copenhagen. And for the previous few years, I've been tasked with working on Work Package 5 in Panosk, the, the simulation work package. And in that, I'm ensuring that neutron scattering simulation tools can be exposed as online services. The most popular neutron ray tracing algorithm currently is MaxDAS. And this is an, an older package that has been used for many years, primarily to design the neutron scattering instrumentation that most experiments are performed on. And so users have not traditionally needed to use this kind of simulation tool. But now with faster computers and further development in simulating sample physics, it's much more feasible for the user to have these Monte Carlo simulations mean something for their experiments. For example, they can be used to plan the experiment before they even arrive at the facility. They can be used to understand sources of error, mainly because each neutron can be traced through the entire instrument to understand what happened. In addition, it can be used in data analysis, both to qualitatively understand what's going on, but also quantitatively subtract problems that arise in the simulation and can thus be understood. Maxdas script is, is this new Python API. And the, the reason for, for adding this is that Maxdas itself is actually more than 20 years old and uses a user interface that is built on, on C and then adding some meta language features, which is not uh, that easy to get your wrap your head around if you don't come from a C background. And so by offering uh, an alternative in Python, users that know this programming language can instead uh, start there and have all the features exposed. Python also is easier to interface with other data analysis software and other simulations. And it can even be exposed as an online service through a Jupyter notebook without much effort. And as such, MaxDAS can be moved uh, online as a service instead of having everyone installing it on their own laptops. This is a, a Jupyter Notebook with a quick demonstration of MaxDAS script. First, we can import the package and then we create the instrument object. The instrument object will contain the entire description of our simulation that we want to build. We can get some help because there's a library of components available in MaxDAS, but a, a new user wouldn't know their names or what they can do. So you can ask what components are available and look for what you want to add. First, let's, let's add a source. So we look in the sources category and we are just doing a simple introduction. So a source simple seemed appropriate. By asking about component help, for source simple, we get a, a nice little overview of the available parameters and their units. Then we can add a component by, we call it a source, uh, and this is our source simple that we looked up. And then each of the parameters appears as attributes to this component or to this object, and we can modify it so that it does what we want in the simulation. We can also print it to make sure that it contains the desired information. Then let's add a guide. This will be an elliptical guide, 100 meters long, uh, placed just two meters after our source. Next, we would like to record the beam that exits this guide and for that, we use a few monitors that measure divergence and position. The second one is almost a copy of the first. So we just ask for a copy to start the object and then 
specify what's different this time. Now we are ready to run our simulation and we can get the data out as a object directly in the Jupyter notebook and it will contain data sets and uh, the metadata and um, behind the scenes there are NumPy data arrays that can be accessed. That's uh, That was the simulation. Now the data is loaded and we can plot it. We first specify uh, some titles uh, and labels to make it nicer. And then we see the acceptance diagram in the horizontal and the vertical direction. They look quite different. One is affected by gravity and the small height of the source uh, and the other uh, is uh, completely symmetric due to the, the lack of gravity in the horizontal direction. And this shows us some sources of error that there are some correlations between position and divergence in the neutron beam from this kind of optical setup. But MaxDAS can do much more complex things. For example, here we see uh, an animation of a diamond anvil cell where one of the diamonds are being rotated and the Bragg peaks hit the pressure cell around it. And then below here, we see the, the scattered signal, um, which is mainly a chaos of backgrounds that move around as you rotate the diamond. And you could imagine using this to find the best place to, to rotate the diamond to in order to minimize background in the region where you're interested for measurements. So this was a quick demo of MaxDash script. In terms of um, what we are making available is primarily the tutorial for that includes all you need to know to use MaxDash and MaxDash script. I would suggest starting there. In terms of future developments, one thing I want to look more at is how to warn the user uh, or even spot errors that they are making well before they try to run the simulation. Because what can happen is that the MaxDAS simulation itself fail if you do something that's internally impossible. And the Python layer could detect that and warn the user early to avoid them wasting time and scratching their heads afterwards. That's a, a quality of life improvement I would like to bring. The easiest way to make concrete suggestions for development is to visit our GitHub page. And this is a Panosk vinyl on GitHub. In there, you can find all our projects in among which is MaxDash script. And there one can post issues and feedback. You can obviously also contact me directly at mass.bertelsen at ess.eu, which is my email used for these purposes. I look forward to hearing some feedback and having a larger user community for MaxDescript. That will be really exciting. <laughs>